Launch, launch, launch. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, commonly known as drones, have become indispensable tools in military operations. They offer unparalleled capabilities in reconnaissance, surveillance, and combat without risking human lives. So today, we're diving into the top five most advanced military drones in the world. As we count down the top five military drones, remember to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world of military technology. At number five is the Bayraktar Akenzi, a remarkable feat in the world of unmanned combat aerial vehicles, or UCAVs. Developed by the Turkish company Baykar, the Akinzi represents a significant leap in high-altitude, long-endurance, or HALE, UAV technology. With its first flight in December 2019 and introduction into service in August 2021, the Akinzi has quickly become a key asset for the Turkish Armed Forces and other international operators. The Akinzi boasts a maximum takeoff weight of over 5.5 tons, with a payload capacity exceeding 1,350 kilograms. This allows it to carry a variety of smart munitions and advanced sensors. The drone is powered by two turboprop engines, available in 450 horsepower or 750 horsepower variants, providing it with impressive endurance and operational flexibility. Its 20-meter wingspan and advanced avionics enable it to perform a wide range of missions, from intelligence gathering to precision strikes. Equipped with state-of-the-art electronic support and ECM systems, dual satellite communication systems, air-to-air -air radar, collision avoidance radar, and advanced synthetic aperture radar, its payload includes internal and external options, allowing it to carry munitions like the MAM-L, the MAM-C, and the MAM-T smart bombs, as well as the newly developed Rocketson's MAM-T. The Akinsi's operational history includes participation in the Pensi Killet operations in northern Iraq and significant roles in the 2023 Turkey-Syria earthquake relief efforts. It has also been involved in operations against the Wagner Group operated El Hadem Air Base. In terms of cost, while specific figures are not publicly disclosed, the drone's cost effectiveness is enhanced by its compatibility with a range of existing munitions and sensors, making it a versatile choice for various military operations. Securing the fourth spot is the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie, a groundbreaking unmanned combat aerial vehicle, or UCAV, developed for the U.S. Air Force. As part of the low-cost Attritable Strike Demonstrator, or LCASD, program, the Valkyrie represents a new era in military drones, combining stealth technology with cost-effectiveness and high performance. The XQ-58 Valkyrie, first flown on March 5, 2019, at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, is designed to act as a loyal wingman to manned aircraft. It can perform tasks such as scouting, defensive fire, and absorbing enemy fire. With a trapezoidal fuselage, V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake, the Valkyrie features advanced stealth technology. It has a wingspan of 27 feet and an empty weight of 2,500 pounds with a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds. One of the most notable aspects of the Valkyrie is its cost. Kratos officials have stated that the drone could be produced at a unit cost of $4 million at an annual production rate of 50 aircraft, and possibly for less than $2 million if over 100 airframes are built per year. This affordability makes the Valkyrie a potentially expendable asset in combat a significant shift from traditional, more expensive UCAVs. The Valkyrie can operate autonomously or can be controlled remotely and is capable of conventional takeoffs and landings. It can also be launched from non-traditional platforms like support ships, shipping containers, and semi-trailer trucks. The drone has a cruise speed of 476 knots, a range of approximately 3,000 nautical miles, and a service ceiling of 45,000 feet. In terms of armament, the Valkyrie has a capacity of 600 pounds internally and externally, allowing it to carry a variety of payloads, including sensors, communication equipment, and weapons. This versatility makes it suitable for a wide range of military operations. The Valkyrie's operational history includes participation in the Skyborg program, 
an effort to field an unmanned wingman for manned fighters. The U.S. Marine Corps and Navy have also shown interest in the Valkyrie, ordering units for testing under various programs. At number three, we've got the General Atomics Avenger, also known as Predator C. This drone is a big step forward from its earlier versions, the MQ-9 Reaper and the MQ-1 Predator. The Avenger was made using the newest drone technology. It's designed for a serious combat role and is more powerful and dangerous than the older models. Its first test flight was on April 4, 2009 in Palmdale, California, showing that it was ready to go and worked well. The Avenger is different from the older Predator drones because it has a jet engine, not a propeller. This makes it faster and harder to see on radar. It can fly really fast, over 750 kilometers per hour, and can go as high as 60,000 feet, just like fighter jets. It can stay in the air for 20 hours, and if you add an extra fuel tank, it can fly even longer. The Avenger looks sleek and modern. It's designed to be hard to spot on radar. It can carry a lot of weapons too, up to 3,500 pounds. This includes missiles like the AGM-114 Hellfire and different types of smart bombs like the GBU-24 Paveway-3 and the GBU-31 JDAM. These weapons make the Avenger very versatile for different kinds of missions, from hitting specific targets to gathering information. A big plus of the Avenger is that it can use the same support systems as the older Predator drones. This means the military can use it without spending a lot of extra money on new equipment or training. In short, the General Atomics Avenger is a major upgrade in drone technology. It's faster, flies higher, and is stealthier than previous drones. With its ability to carry a variety of weapons, it's a powerful tool for the military able to do many different jobs in combat and surveillance. At number two is the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, an innovative aerial refueling drone designed for the U.S. Navy. This unmanned aerial vehicle is a game changer in naval aviation, primarily developed to extend the combat range of carrier-based aircraft. With its first flight on September 19, 2019, the MQ-25 Stingray represents a significant leap in carrier-based UAV technology. The MQ-25 Stingray is designed to deliver at least 15,000 pounds of fuel to four to six airplanes at a range of 500 nautical miles. This capability significantly extends the operational range of carrier air wings, enhancing the Navy's ability to conduct prolonged missions. The Stingray's design features a stealthy fuselage shaping, a flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar, and a V-tail, making it less detectable than traditional UAVs. Powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine, which delivers over 10,000 pounds of thrust, the MQ-25 has a robust and reliable power source. The engine variant is also used in the Navy's MQ-4C Triton, ensuring proven performance and compatibility. The MQ-25's design allows for both underwing and internal payload configurations, enhancing its versatility for various mission requirements. The development contract for the MQ-25 was awarded to Boeing at a value of $805 million for four aircraft, with the program potentially expanding to $13 billion overall for 72 aircraft. This investment underscores the strategic importance of the MQ-25 in modern naval operations. In operational testing, the MQ-25 successfully conducted its first refueling test in June 2021, transferring fuel to an FA-18F Super Hornet. This milestone demonstrated the Stingray's compatibility to fulfill its primary mission of aerial refueling. Further tests included refueling operations with other aircraft, like the E-2, and the F-35C. Topping our list is the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper, a standout in the world of military drones. Known for its versatility in both reconnaissance and strike missions, the MQ-9 Reaper is a true powerhouse in the UAV world. With its first flight in 2001 and introduction into service in 2007, the Reaper has become a key asset for the United States Air Force and other operators worldwide. The MQ Reaper is a significant upgrade from its predecessors, 
the MQ-1 Predator, and the MQ-9. It features a 950-shaft horsepower turboprop engine, allowing it to carry a much larger payload and fly at about three times the speed of the MQ-1. The Reaper's design enables it to be controlled by the same ground systems used for the MQ-1, making it a versatile and cost-effective addition to the military's UAV fleet. With a maximum speed of about 300 miles per hour and an operational ceiling of 50,000 feet, the Reaper is comparable to military fighter jets in performance. It has an impressive endurance of up to 27 hours, which can be extended with additional fuel tanks. The MQ-9's payload capacity of 3,500 pounds allows it to carry a variety of weapons, including the GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bomb and the AGM-114 Hellfire-2 air-to-ground missiles. Also, the GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAM. Reaper can be equipped with multiple sensors, including a thermographic camera capable of reading a license plate from two miles away. The drone is monitored and controlled by air crew in a ground control station, including weapons deployment. As of 2021, the U.S. Air Force operated over 300 MQ-9 Reapers, with plans for continued use and upgrades. The average unit cost of an MQ-9 is estimated at $30 million in 2022 dollars, reflecting its advanced capabilities and the strategic value it brings to military operations. From the Bayraktar Kinsey's impressive payload capacity to the MQ-9 Reaper's unparalleled versatility, these top five military drones are reshaping the future of warfare in the skies. They are not just tools of war, they are harbingers of a new era in military strategy and technology. Which of these drones do you think will have the most significant impact on future military operations? Share your thoughts in the comments below.